Ed, let's start with you. Um, what do we expect in terms of uh, the, the TikTok here? When are we going to see the launch and uh, how long is it going to take them to get into orbit, etc.? Yeah, a five hour launch window opens at 8.02 p.m. Eastern time. I'm no re meteorologist. You can see over my shoulder there are clouds in the sky, but according to official reports, weather conditions are 90% favorable. And we're, we're a few hours away from launch. The crew will load in to the Dragon capsule well ahead of time. And then you go through the official countdown process, hours of preparation, a long 45 minute at least official countdown to go through a 13 minute process where they'll be hurtled up towards 360 miles above the earth, various stages of separation at a speed of 17,500 miles an hour, which for a non-professional astronaut who's only had five months of training, quote unquote training, is quite a significant step. Lisa, what does this mean for you? What does this mean for the industry that we're sending uh, civilians up into orbit now? Yeah, this is a this is a fantastic moment to have civilians going to orbit. This hasn't happened before. What we saw with Bob and Doug going to the SpaceX on the SpaceX Dragon capsule, they docked at the ISS and they were on a mission on the International Space Station. But today, what they, what SpaceX ingeniously did is they changed the docking me mechanism to be this beautiful cupola. And now that there's a cupola on the Dragon and they're going to be in orbit, they're going to have this unbelievable experience of of flying in space and being in orbit and it's going to be extraordinary uh, this is a moment for commercial space it's opening up access and showing that a commercial company can design a mission for their own purposes and in this case one of their purposes was to promote saint jude's and to uh, raise awareness for cancer research which i think is just a wonderful significant way of um, flying to space and making it meaningful yeah, it seems to bring together, too, all of these mega cap tech companies. I mean, Netflix is doing a series on this. Of course, SpaceX is uh, very closely related, a part of Tesla um, in a way. And there's a lot of uh, people around it that are that are working um, on this launch. How do you see, Lisa, um, this launch and, and really SpaceX, Blue Origin, um, Virgin, in regards to Explore, I mean, do you look at them as competitors? Do you work together in this field? Right. Well, we're not competitors. We would actually fly on, a, a, we were the ride chair on the ride chair. So we would fly on a SpaceX rocket to go to space. So they would be a, they'll, a partner of Explorers or Blue Origin. We could fly on their rocket to take our small satellites to space. But what Explorer is doing that's uh, complementary to today's mission is working on positioning, navigation, and timing, basically a GPS capability and navigation capability beyond Earth. And so as we open up access to space and humans explore deeper into space, we can advance that technology capability and that navigation capability with our PNT system. And then separately, exploring the universe is something Explorer uh, is designed, specifically designed to do. So we have a partnership with the Keck Observatory that has ground-based telescopes, and we we will have a space-based telescope so that we can look uh, and discover more of what's in our universe and bring all of that data back yeah. for science and advancing STEM.